the West. Joining us from the room, get around him. David Mundy joins us. David, Mark Howard here, mate. Great to see you. 41 points down. Mate? 41 points down. We are having doubts, and congratulations to you and your footy team, mate. An extraordinary game of footy, and we love watching it. Thank you very much. Thank you for the standing ovation. Much uh, un un very unnecessary. But um, now, 41 points down. I thought, oh, it's not a bad head start. Let's kick into gear. <laughs> <laughs> and you did that. What did the coach say at that point to you as a group? Yeah, I guess out of that first half, we were just um, uh, really failing in our basics of you know, football, being clean, uh, under pressure, being able to <laughs> move the ball from inside to out. Um, and the Bulldogs, to their credit, really, really screwed themselves up and gave it everything in that first half. So um, we have an immense amount of confidence in our you know, physical attributes to be able to run our game. So uh, we, we were just talking about getting it right around the football and, and everything else will come. You say that the standing ovation in the studio was a bit unnecessary, but the crowd there at Optus Stadium on their feet pretty much that whole last quarter. But what was that moment like after the final siren, your first finals win there at Optus Stadium and just knowing that your season and your career is still alive? Yeah, it's a pretty insane night, to be honest. 58,000 here. I've just been told it's my biggest uh, crowd that I've played in front of in Perth in 19 years. So, um, and in a stadium like Optus Stadium, the, the noise really comes in and we can really feel that energy and, and thrive off it. So it was a fantastic night to play football and to get the win. We just saw some great vision of you there, Dave, signing the Macca's share. And, oh, well, you've just given it to a fan in the crowd. Has that been a bit of a theme for you throughout the year or is this a, is this a finals move only? No, I think that was a, uh, a finals last, last home game. Uh, football giveaway. The lady I gave it to didn't look too excited, did she? But uh, <laughs> no, no, she the wrong right. person. <laughs> uh, Dave, you've got so many young players in your side. Um, and we just yeah, we talked did. up Caleb Sarong and his efforts through the midfield and he just seems to be so consistent for a young player. But, I mean, you go to O'Driscoll, you go to Young off the back, um, Walker out the back as well. They just seem to be young players everywhere, Chapman, etc., etc. How do you feel about this group? And they're obviously made the right way and, and made of the right stuff. Yeah, and to be honest, for the last three years, I've had the best seat in the house, just being able to, I guess, set them up early days, but now watching them just take over and flourish in um, you know, different roles in our team, um, they've really come up quickly to AFL standard and understanding what's required and, um, you know, they've got the next 15 years to carry this football club forward, so uh, it's in good hands. Dave, just curious what the feeling was like for you in the lead-up to the game this week, not knowing whether it was going to be your last game or not. It, it, was, that, was that hard to sort of wrap your head around and reconcile? Yeah, it's been... People have been asking me, like, how do you feel this might be your last game type thing, but um, certainly not going into particularly this game with that kind of mindset. Um, and this whole um, retirement kind of show has been rolling on for a little while now with no set end date. So it's been a bit weird, to be honest. Hopefully we've got a few more in us. And the other story being Nat Fife, we saw a vision of him just in the tunnel uh, watching you all celebrate with the CEO, Simon Garlic. Have you spoken to him post-game? Uh, not yet. I haven't had a chance, but he, he um, trained with us yesterday and um, he's moving pretty well. So um, hopefully he's not too far away. Dave, as we let it go, estimated that you've flown 900,000 kilometres playing for the Fremantle Football Club. How many frequent flyers do you have? Plenty, yeah, plenty. I use them at Christmas time to get back to Victoria <laughs> more often than not, which uh, takes a lot of them away, but uh, it's, been, it's been an absolute pleasure. Well, we'll see you here in Victoria next Saturday night versus Collingwood. Well done, Dave. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank you.